Hello and welcome back to Logical Cogs Let's Play series of Evil Land 2. So, we have finally met up with Jon Snow. And we will see tonight if he truly knows nothing at all. But f first, bef we d before we do that and answer that question, we must face him in a duel. So folks, time to beat up a snowman. But first, we're gonna have a game of cards. Because why the hell not? Oh shit, he has 30 health. I'm gonna lose this right off the bat. Why did I do a card against him? Alright, one health. I, I, I can deal with that. Yeah, here. Let's see. Here, I'll put a Viking. I'll pull him up. We'll sacrifice him. I'm just mainly blocking the mammoth and trying to take him down. God damn it. Come on. Okay, eight. Good, 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 good. All's good. It's going good. I can throw him up here. I can throw him up here. All right. It's all good. I can cover my bases for now. And he doesn't and he can't put much down yet. But he's sacrificing a lot. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. This is all good. Yes, the tree. The tree. This is a good tank for me. Okay, the middle lane will just be my generation lane for stuff. I'm okay with that. As long as it, cause it actually keeps the mammoth from getting any better slots there. And let's see. Throw that there. Sacrifice her. Come on. Six, seven. Yes! Next turn, I'll be able to throw down a lot of good cards. And keep a good kind of like back stock for uh, throwing powerful cards down as he destroys the ones I currently have on board. And you, all right, Gilp is a range one? Damn. Um... Okay, Gilp, you see the back lines and nail these bitches. Sweet, I can sacrifice. I'm gonna have a big back sock. I may be able to actually win this pretty well. Seven. Damn! You got nothing on me, Viking Chief! You know nothing, Jon Snow, of my power. Okay, that's fine. He goes away. No problem, because I got a troll I can throw on right away. Sacrifice these. I win. <laughs> wow. That actually turned out really good for me. Go figure. I actually have good cards now, so I can actually do that. You caught Jon Snow. I didn't even see Jon Snow cards, so that would be fun to try it out. Alright, Jon Snow. Now it's time for the real fight of the century. Now we'll see if you truly... Oh god, he has a lot of abilities. I don't like that snow meteor down there. Okay, it's suggesting I do this one. Okay, I got an extra turn already. Extra turn number two. Oh, that freezes stuff. I gotta watch out for that snow. Damn. Ooh. Oh. He's 154 health too. God damn. Good thing a lot of his abilities take a long time to charge up. Damn, he, he's gonna wreck me though. I mean, he already has a power attack already set up. Winter has come! I was not prepared for winter! Okay, Treff is powered up. Good, I can recover health if need be. He doesn't have any good abilities coming up just yet, so I can just keep preparing. Get Jork ready.
Damn it. He only, he only needs three reds now. Actually, you know what? Yuli. We have a good lineup of greens right here. Okay, what does it suggest? There we go. Damn it. Okay, we get some three reds right here. There we go. Oh damn, there's a whole bunch of reds up there and he got an extra turn. Quit turning yourself into fry suit, son of a bitch. Alright, Yuli's back. There we go. Got some good damage there. Yuli can recover us. Okay, good, good. Damn it. You got a good combo. Strengthen. Ugh. Okay. That's my best move I can make. I'm not getting good combos. God damn it, he's getting all of them. He's just gonna win because, yeah, he gets all the combos off me and I don't get anything off him. And I still have to go through 100 health? That's such bull. Well, I lose. There's literally nothing I can do. Uh... And of course, the game like lines it up where it li literally gives it him a free turn every time I try to do something. Come on, give me something good. Okay, that's a good combo. Of course, he gets the extra turn. Hmm. Okay, you. Okay, Yuli's all set. There we go. Gets a good. Show me something useful I can use. There we go, got an attack. And he gets the extra turn off that. God damn it. Get some health back. Freeze his shit for a second. Okay, now I get a four combo. Thank you. Not enough greens to make Yuli worth it, but I can do this. 
Drork's almost prepared. Damn, that's literally the only one I can do. Just freeze myself to death. Three greens, but she's frozen. And don't have a don't have a big lineup of greens again, so there we go. Jork's almost back up. We just need one more. First, you just gotta freeze him. God damn, there just isn't any good greens. Okay, that was a good combo. Fuck you, buddy. Okay, good. York. There's a four right here. Snowburst. There we go. Okay, so we're getting there. Ah. Uh. Okay, that's all right. Yuli, you have a line right here. One, two. There we go. And Jork, we have a big wombo combo. And folks, this this could be it. Bam, bam, and we have defeated Jon Snow. You are truly a great warriors. Though not Vikings, you have successfully won the tournament. Congratulations, here is your reward. I got the Book of Boreas! An extraordinary ancient town that keeps it cool under pressure. Another Book of Boreas? What is the meaning of this? It's a unique artifact. There can only be one copy. Yet it is possible. If this is indeed the book that Miss Yuli discovered in the Imperial Library, there must be a version of it in that era. Your copy is from the future, but both are, in fact, the one and the same. Lord Jork, I'm impressed. I'm convinced you would have made a grand king for your people had the demons won the Great War. Dot dot dot. Touchy subject. But what's good another copy of the same book? We need the fragment of the key of the Magi. Google told us we'd find it in here. Cool. I don't know where the fragment is, but we must at all costs return this book to uh, the Archivist Largo. But why? I really like my own ice book. If we fail to return it to him, we will effectively alter history. I won't ever find the book in the library, nor will I visit the Magi Ruins on Cursed Isle. And thus we'll never meet. The consequences are unforeseeable. She is correct, Miss Treff. We must not take such a risk. I don't, I don't want you to disappear either, Yuli. I think we bumped into Largo in the Viking village. Let's go give him the book and continue our search for the fragment of ice. These foreign, wait, these foreigners make absolutely no sense. I didn't understand a thing you said. You know nothing, Jon Snow. There it is, folks. And there's the line we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Gilp, I feel we have already altered the course of history too much. But I imagine it's nothing compared to what will happen once we use the Magi key. Never have I met a human such as Yuli. She seems to make no distin distinction between humans and demons. To her, both are subjects worthy of study. 
Outsiders talk of such strange things. All right. So which one is Largo? They said he was in the Viking village, but I don't recall what. Solid snail here. What a small world. After your spectacular escape from the Coliseum, I was fired. I must admit, I suffered a relief about the depression. But I'm now. Okay, so here's Largo. It'll be my life's work. Largo, Le Grand Travels. Well, Largo, you can have a book. Here, we wanted to entrust this book to you. It's a very valuable tome from the ancient Magi civilization. You absolutely must bring it to the Imperial Library in one piece. A book from the Magi era? What an extraordinarily free to find. I don't know how to thank you. Oh wait, there's something. I came across this odd stone in the frozen cavern. It certainly doesn't look equal your book, but it's all I have to give in return. And there's the fragment. <laughs> Sorry again that I haven't. I have nothing better to trade for this book. I, I believe this will be more than enough. Well, I'm off to Trot the Grove again. Best of luck to you all. All right, and there's the fourth fragment that we need. So, there remains but one fragment to get, and that fragment is in Demonia. But. We need some more cash to, to complete my master plan. The master plan being of getting the $10,000 house from the future. So we can go back in time and meet up with uh, our grand general, was he? I can't remember now. But anyways, we have to punch some slimes, get some coins. I'm probably going to be farming here just for a few minutes since it seems that there's a lot of coins to be had in this cave. So, I'll see you guys once I have the coinage we need to become house owners. See you then. So, hey folks, I'm back. Um, I got... I, I went farming for the gold, like I said I would, but I have an issue. That issue being is... I can only have a max of 9999. I need 10,000 for the house. I'm a little concerned about what's going to happen. Ah, well done. You have the fragment of ice. In the future, the frozen continent has almost disappeared. I hope the Vikings will learn how to swim. I would like to feel responsible for their desperation. Would you, Gilp? Come and see me if you need more information on the fragments of the Magi Key. So anyways, though, we're going to do some time travel here. Um, let's see. We're going to do some time travel. We're going to... Now that we're in the future, and try to get our house. Hopefully it'll let us just have it off the bat, but I'm not sure if it'll, that will happen. But, so we're trying to see if it works. Excuse me, gentlemen, out of the way, coming through. Hello, traders, you son of a bitch. You! I have a bone to pick with you. You there, it's your lucky day. We're just, you know, cleaning me as such a bitch. That is my most part. So, what do you say? Yes. You seem to be short, but come. So, I, how do I get more money then? I can only have 10,000. Um, yeah. <laughs> Things are heating up right here, aren't they? <laughs> Dude, you, you had her and then you had to mention the mom thing. Still, though, 
So I got the money for that, but I can't do anything with it because I can't go s talk to him because he's in the future. Ah. There's gotta be a way to get like a bigger wallet then, but how do I get a bigger wallet? Tell me, how do I get a bigger wallet? Ah, uh, you guys. I just don't know. Okay, um... Okay, well, I'm not sure, but for now, I actually plan to just leave the city. We're gonna leave the city, I'm then going to go to... Get another item for that I got for that. Use Oricon Ore to get another item, since I have enough for another one. But that is just so weird that, yeah, I can't go get Dalkin or that place. Oh well, send me back in time, please. And we'll figure it out from there. Because, yeah, there's Demonia. I'll land here. And we'll talk to our fun blacksmithing buddy again. See what's up. I gotta go all the way down, show you this Oricon Aura once more. I'll see. Yep. Give me some boots. Come on, you Minecrafter. Give me the my diamond stuff. Cozy, durable, with illness, you can traverse the world in comfort. Sweet. Which means there's only one Oricon item we need, but unfortunately, we don't have enough, and we need two more Oricon ores, wherever they may be. But that still doesn't explain how am I going to do stuff? Because Dalkin is there. We know... It sounds like he's locked himself in his house. I can't even go to Demonia because the entire place is cut off. Because, yeah, the last fragment is in the demon areas, but we can't advance since... Jerky McJerkface is being a jerk right here. I do wonder what became in my era. To your era? So the answer has to lie in the middle, in the mid time zone that we need to go to. So we're gonna head to there. We're gonna try to sniff around. If I can't find anything on my own really quick, I'll just search online. I'd rather not, but sometimes you gotta do the dirty if you wanna get things done. Okay, we're on a mission. Because, yeah, Demonia is destroyed. Demons aren't telling me anything. There's a big hole. Doing big hole things. Can I land here? Weird. Yep, everything melted. Look at all this melting. We melted everything. How horrible we are. All right, come on. All right, so... Yes, yes, you guys are all in a panic. That's all right. You're not... I don't worry about... I'm not worrying about you. You guys are losers. I thought I locked this up in the house. We need to leave. How... Who's my father? Oh, he was a colonel of the Imperial Army, but... Talk about it. It's done. I'll... Okay, so, he has to be in there. But, he, he's not letting me sell the house. I can't go talk to him. 
So there has to be something with the Emperor, maybe. Rare game card? Sure, why not? Because I can't think of anything else to do at the moment. I can kick your ass, little kid. Oh no, he's got a shroom! But that's okay, I have a mighty Viking. And there's my little fairy. Let's see. There we go. Give me them gems. God damn it. Damn, I'm getting unlucky with my cards here. Alright, let's see. Um, five... Seven. Yeah, I want Reno on here right away. There we go. Thank you, Reno. Screw your bear. Hey, it's Jon Snow. Okay, we're just going to go with him here just to keep myself from getting hit. Okay, good, good. We're all alive. Sacrifice him. Sacrifice him. And there we go. We win. Hooray! Very well played. Can you teach me to play like that? Okay, I already got your card then, apparently. Um... Yeah, I just don't know. I'll think of... Uh, I'm having fun with cards at the moment. Sorry, folks. I, I just like playing these cards. Damn card games being addicting as hell. Fans are going first. You know they can't throw anything good at you early turn, so... You can just save all your points up and get a really powerful second turn. I think that's the main strategy you go for in this game. Like this. Throw down a Reno, get rid of those guys. And there it is. Ooh, I'm not liking that bug. Ow! So it's okay, it's okay. Seven. We'll just throw down Dark Gilp. He'll, he'll save the day. And my little fairy scooter. Bam! And Gilp saves the day. Thank you, Gilp. You are a slayer, player. He's got a mammoth, that's alright, you can only do one damage. So let's see, we're gonna sacrifice the troll. We'll put Jon Snow into play and kill the bat. And I'll win. There we go, easy peasy. Programmer art! I got programmer art! Hooray for me! What about you, buddy? Is there anything special if like, I beat everyone here? Wait, how do you play? Play game? Just find yourself on it. Should you defeat your adversary, you'll score a new card deck. The game of cards is an age-old ages, and you'll find players in every corner of the world. Would you like... Uh, no. Can I fight you? Though I think I already beaten you in the past, so it doesn't really matter. Put the blacksmith down, cause he gives me stuff. And he's actually pretty durable. Boom, you hurt me a little bit. I am offended. <laughs> so that's programmer art, I believe. Damn, programmer art's scary. 
There we go, everyone generate income. Damn it. There goes my programmer art. That's okay though. Because I can get Dark Gilp and win. There we go. You got nothing on me, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to take down a tree, isn't it? So let's see, we'll get rid of Jon Snow, the Viking, and we'll throw Gilp with Dark Gilp. Yeah, the Gilps. Get Gilped! <laughs> I believe that's it. For Okay, but we still don't know how to get to Dalkin, though. And that's what bothers me, because... Yeah, we need to fight Dalkin. Maybe we can fight the Emperor somehow? Turn it to cause him... Oh, finally, there's something going on. Yes, I came here. Really? You want to fight the Dread Pirates? Finally! Go on, but be careful. All right, folks. Oh, but we don't have Largo to announce us. Welcome to the Great Tournament at the Coliseum. Woo! Today, you'll be witness to an extraordinary fight on the side of the Fearless Trial Immune, the Pirates of the Bay. And on the other, the mighty warrior with strange powers alone against the horde. The great legendary Salt Salt Snail. And without further ado, the fight is started. Oh, that's why I couldn't do it before. Mainly because I had to unlock this fighting style. Well, this should be fun and easy, cause I got the combo of a lifetime. Okay, come on, bring it on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really miss this style of fighting. <laughs> Alright, who's next? Get jorked! Come on, uh, just bring the whole horde out. I wanna fight 50 of you guys at once, that'd be awesome. Come on, give me more! There we go! Yeah, that's right, just keep bringing them out. No interruptions. Ow. Come on, bring it on! Ow, I'm not sure how that one worked. Come on! Oh, come on! Keep your interruptions. Ow. Come on! Bring them on! I can take all of them! <laughs> Woo! There's a lot now. Ow. Quick, if triggers, I gotta stay moving. Even when I land, I gotta be moving forward because that way they can't get a, a lock on me. There we go. Come on, man. Oh, how many rounds of this there are? Man, I'm tough. My punches do a lot more than before.
<laughs> Bring it on, punks. Not gonna lie to you, this is all... Okay, there's a counter up there. Oh, it's round... Okay, round 10. Come on. Come on, Bruce Lee, you're down. Don't be round to this, are there? Okay, I'm at ten now, but. Okay, 10 rounds. And there's Captain. Okay, that's right. It's got to make a run to walls. There we go. Come on. It's a little harder this time around because... Okay. Oh, he has friends now. That's not good. Oh, that's right. He gets cheap. If... Oh, come on! Yeah, he gets fucking cheap like that. Continue? Yes. Wait, what? Okay, um... I'll try this again next episode, because... Apparently, I have to do this all over again, so... I'll see you guys next time, as we brawl more pirates in the Coliseum. See you guys then. Or, no, I ruined the catch line. No!